In this edition of Back in History, we bring to you the history of one of Nigeria's foremost educational institutions located in the city of Lagos. The school was founded long before Nigeria gained independence. The school prides itself as one significant institution which has produced hundreds and thousands of men who have risen to occupy high offices in public and private places across the length and breadth of Nigeria, Africa, and the world at large. Its name, King's College Lagos. Welcome to this edition of Back in History. King's College was founded on Monday, 20th September, 1909. Its establishment was by an act of the British Parliament. At that time, Nigeria was not a country in the form it is presently constituted. It was still a part of Africa, partitioned to Britain during the conference for the partitioning of Africa, which was held in Berlin, Germany. In essence, at the time of the establishment of King's College, the territory of Lagos was a colony of the British Empire. King's College started with only 10 students. The college, which is now located at No. 3 Catholic Mission Street, Lagos, was originally located at the Lagos Island adjacent Tafawa Balewa Square. From inception, the school was founded for the training of only male students. Though in the course of its recorded history, a few female students had been admitted before the establishment of the sister school, the Queen's College, also in Lagos. The history of the school is that sometime in 1908, Henry Rawlingson Carr, a Briton who served as the acting director of education for the colony of Lagos, made a proposal to the governor of the colony, Walter Egerton, for the establishment of a government-run college in the colony. The initial fear of the governor and of the London Board of Education was that the establishment of a government-run school will overlap the educational efforts of the missionaries. The missionaries were integral partners to the colonial administration and any decision that was likely to affect their interest needed to be taken with caution. It is reported that Henry Rawlingson Carr convinced the governor and the board of education that the establishment of a government-run school will not overrun but will complement the educational efforts and initiatives of the missionaries. His submissions were accepted and approval was given for the establishment of the school. Henry Rawlingson Carr is thus regarded as the father of the initiative that led to the establishment of what is today known as King's College Lagos. The institution was first known as King's School. As noted earlier, the school officially came into existence on 20th September 1909. Some of the persons who gained admission into the school as pioneer students were Frank Macaulay, Moses King, Herbert Hills from Gold Coast, now Ghana, J.C. Vaughan, O.A. Omolulu, and Isaac Ladikbo Oluwale. The original structures included a hall to accommodate 300 students, 8 lecture rooms, a chemical laboratory, and an office accommodation. It is recorded that the cost of building the school at the time was £10,001. The pioneer staff of the school consisted of three Europeans and two African assistants. The staff strength later increased with time and with the increase in student population. Britain handed over the country to Nigerians on 1st October 1960, when Nigeria officially became an independent country. Several institutions were handed over in the process. One of such institutions was the King's College, which then became an institution of the Federal Government of Nigeria under the Federal Minister of Education in the mold of the Unity Schools. Over the years, the school has grown in size and in students' population. Several students have graduated and have proceeded to other phases of the educational pursuits. It is said 
that in the history of the West African Examinations Council, otherwise known as WAEG, King's College Lagos has been remarkable in the performance of its students. The original philosophy of the school was as follows, unquote, to provide for the youth of the colony a higher general education than that supplied by the existing schools, to prepare them for matriculation examination of the University of London and to give a useful course of study to those who intend to qualify for professional life or to enter government or mercantile service." Unquote. It can thus be rightly said that the school was from the inception positioned for development and for nurturing of leaders for the Nigerian society, Africa and the world at large. In the last 103 years of its existence, several persons have served as principals of the school. Such persons include Mr. Lomax, who served from the inception of the school in 1909 to 1910. G. H. Hyde Johnson, who served as the second principal of the school, was followed by Marquis Reed, J. A. DeGay, who served from 1917 to 1919. H. A. Harman, who served from 1919 to 1925. W. M. Peacock, who served from 1926 to 1931. A. H. Clift, 1936 to 1947. A. D. Porter, who served in 1947. G. P. Savage, who served as principal in 1948. J. R. Bunting, who served from 1949 to 1954, and P. H. Davies, who served from 1957 to 1964.